Hi, it's, uh, I'm James Willis, and this is the instruction video for the MIM post and rail and OXA system. Once you receive the, the kit in the post, open up the box, make sure you've got all the parts, the instruction manual, and the necessary tools. So this is our demo model for, the, for fixing of the, the MIM system. First thing to remember is your upright is securely fixed into the ground or braced like this one. So first page of the manual, there is a, a recommendation of dimensions of the materials to be used. Please follow these dimensions. So step one is assembling the hinge. Put the two pieces and then secure together with the, the bolt. So once we have the height and position of your rail, we're going to start fitting the hinge. We're probably going to need some help for this. Now we're going to mount the hinge. Push it up securely under there. We have 100 mil screws and fix at the correct height. So first we fix to the post. Now we're going to fix up into the rail. So now we have the rail um, fixer. Next stage is to very carefully lower your rail down and with all your remaining screws, securely fix the rail. So the next stage is to position the red clip. Um, we want to position this fairly high up the rail, also position it in a way that we get a good fixing into both the post and the rail. Once we have our mark, we can then pre-drill our hole and then fit in our, our first bolt. Make sure you don't do your bolt too tight. Make sure that the clip easily fits in to the bolt. So once we have the first bolt in, uh, repeat the process on the, other, on the other end of the clip. Before we secure the plates, we can check our clip fits. If we need a slight adjustment, we can give it a little tap with a hammer until we get it so the clip fits perfectly. So now step number six is just a case of securing the plates. So this is the, the post and rail kit fitted. For the OXA kit, we just repeat again for the uh, other rail. We're now going to reset it and show you how it's set for the lower speed or angled fence. So now on this one, we've, we've lowered the clip down to this position. We fitted it exactly the same process as before. Um, by lowering the clip here, this will release the fence much easier. So we use this when we feel there's a low approach speed or to the fence or there is an angled fence where you feel this would be appropriate. Another way we can use the system here, we fitted it exactly the same way as the previous ones. The only difference here is we've moved the, the hinge slightly forward. So the fence still breaks, this just allows the horse to slide or rub over the fence um, so we use this fence where we have a steep landing or maybe water on the landing side. So as per the manual, we have three ways we can use this system. The fitting is exactly the same on all of them, just gives you options when you're using it. So one of the final things we need to check for the fence is if the fen ac fence activates and drops down, we need to make sure we must have what they call in the manual the safe area, which is the area from the top of the rail to the ground. This must be at least 200 millimetres. This gives a safe area if a rider happens to be on the back side of the fence and stops the rail, the falling fence, hitting the rider. If you don't have enough clearance of the ground, you can, you can quite easily just get a, a little piece of timber, slot it in there to keep the rail up so you have enough clearance.